Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis Server 68. Today I want to talk about hydras and why they are so important. So, uh, sadly, Ebony's really turned into a four day a week game. You have Thursday, Friday with Yamirs or Yemers, uh, whoever you want to pronounce them. Those are the big resource bosses with good refined stones and tactic scrolls at the level four and five level. And Monday, Tuesday, you have Hydras. And then honestly, Ebony has just killed the spawn rate on those non days. So on Wednesday, like today, uh, for, uh, thir Saturday, Sunday, there's the spawn rate is so low. So even the event monsters, like we have witches right now, and they are so hard to find right now. Uh, so it sucks. It's hard to lo hard to justify logging in and rallying all day. We do, but we work hard. It is hard work to keep five or six rallies going at a time. Uh, just trying to finish some <coughs> Vikings up here for the team, but uh, looking around the map, like here, I'm lucky. Uh, that must have just respawned because it was not there recently. But anyway, set that. But back to Hydras. So you want to talk about growing your monarch. and But what, the, what I mean by that is your equipment and your monarch experience. It is high now. You, you want to get to level 40. <clears throat> Sorry, I think this level right here, 39, so 65%, there's still 90, min, 90 million left. I think it started at 250 or 260 million Monarch XP, and that is hard to do. But if you focus on Hydras, let's see if I can find a Hydra report down here from before the reset and uh, show you the difference in reports between bosses and then we'll actually look at the chests because uh, hydras give you so much monarch experience that it really is the best way i go up on monday tuesdays probably about four or five percent and that's at those uh high levels where i'm talking about needing 270 million so uh, should be a hydra somewhere here man brother war was just smashing those vikings well Everyone was just joining his rallies. So here we go. Here's a legendary Hydra. Monarch XP, 3,500 just for joining the rally. There are refined stones. <coughs> Sometimes you get double drops. Uh, looking at other bosses, Vikings, only 900 Monarch XP. But that's still pretty good. Phoenix, 6,000 XP. That's a really high boss, though. And looking around, other things here, Fafnir drops to 5,000, Camacha 4,500, so Junior Hydra still 3,500 Monarch XP, so even if you're in a smaller alliance or newer alliance and you're smashing the low-level Hydras, you can see the difference there. B11, 4,000 Monarch XP, so anyways, you can see, and then if you go to the Cerberus, 3,000, so... You get a lot from just the actual report, just from killing the boss, but you're also going to get a lot from the chests. And let's take a look at one of those chests right now. Hopefully this person doesn't set on top of uh, the Viking for their own Viking. But uh, anyways, back to the inventory here. So look at these chests. These are great. So first of all, however you do in the event with your team, you get a chance to open these. So this is two days worth. So we finished first both days. So let's open. Obviously, I'm just hoping for a sea bag. Let's see. No, tricked me with the yellow. But still good. Free stuff. So Hydra Chess Junior. These are really easy. These are easier than a B12, harder than a B11, uh, very similar to a Cerberus C1. So they're pretty easy. You could send... Five, six hundred thousand T13 and get zero losses, depending on your general. But let's open it up and look what's inside of it. That Monarch XP, 5,000 per one. And you might get doubles, so 10,000. And then these wheel chips. We're going to get into those. And then they up the rewards to 500,000 resources. So that is really good. 
It used to be 300, I believe. And it was kind of like an iffy boss. Like, eh, I'd rather hit other stuff. I'd rather hit a, you know, a golem or turtle two for the 400k. Because it was more. Because when you're growing, I understand. But now Hydra's superior to those. Medium. 8,000 or 16,000 monarch experience with a double drop. Still 500 chips, but this is where it gets good. You get the royal way bills. So you can, this is where you can make trades with people. You can say, hey, you want some 500k food? Send me some stamina, stuff like that. So these way bills are important. They're also good for your family members who want to send stamina to the papa. So here, 700 resources. Very nice. Now we get into the senior Hydra, which used to be the top one, top uh, Hydra. 1,200 experience, or yes, 12,000 actually, or 24,000 with a double drop. And they're starting to drop refined stones at a very high level. And these uh, Hydra 3s generally, so I send 2 million T14s and I get no losses. And on the level 2s, if I send, you know, 1.2 million, 1.3 million T13, I'll get no losses. But again, it really depends on your generals. And royal waybills are now at 2, and that's good because you want to get 10 so that you could convert them and only have to press the button one time, right? And then a million resources. And then the legendary, these are new, probably about 4 months old, I think. But uh, 20 blue material chests. That's really good for you guys who are trying to get your sub gear up and all your PvP gear. 16 hours, 16,000 Monarch experience, or 32 with a double, 12 refined stones, three royal waybills, 1.5 million each resource, and you can double all that. So these are such an important boss. I'm just going to open all of these up. And I opened, uh, I opened them all yesterday. I was going to do a video on this. And then I was like, man, I don't have any junior Hydra chests. They were hard to come by. So I couldn't uh, show you what was inside them. But anyways, let's look at this. So I'm at 65.16. And let's see how much Monarch experience I got in the last day. 65.16. And we're up to 66.73, so that's 2.5% in one day just from uh, chests, not including what I did with bosses, not including the day before for Hydras. Like I said, I think I gained probably oh, 5 to 7% on experience. When I was at lower levels, it was 8 to 9%. It gets more difficult all the time, Hydras, but Hydras play a key role in growing your Monarch. That is what they're... Uh, purpose is in the game so anyways this is Genghis uh, server 68 let me know uh, how you're doing with the hydras any uh, other strategies going the monarch actually you know what I got one more bonus for you right here let's uh, actually I'll set this c2 and then I will and I'll just show you guys this is how we call it in our alliance chat so that no one else sets over top of you so that there's not two people doing it and i just run them all over there let's go to the wheel of fortune and i'll give you an example of what these wheel chips do so if you look here there's the monarch gear a lot of monarch gear there level two monarch gear level two again <coughs> more monarch xp so you can see all the stuff in here and actually what i want to show you guys is so let's scroll down and look at my monarch gear so this is basically all i spun the wheel yesterday and that doesn't include the stuff that automatically goes on when you open up a purple or blue or orange monarch gear and this is all just from spinning the wheel yesterday and these are from world boss so you got to get in the top 10 guys that is a goal top 20 i think gets those level five but also these books and these help so much with your generals these are basically all from the wheels as well so the way you get all that you got to do hydras so genghis like subscribe leave a comment